The open was one of my favorite things that we ever shot. Yeah. We thought real long and hard about what would be something that would say Seattle in a way that uh, kind of acknowledges, you know, certain things that, that need to be said but didn't get too heavy handed. And the other thing was that uh, the, where uh, the fish was served, and it was named Alan oh. and this and that. <laughs> well, we did that in 1995. Now, as an entree tonight, we're featuring Alan, a sensitive and artistic coho salmon. Alan was gently caught in a soft net in non-Indian fishing waters, nowhere near the Satsop nuclear plant. There was an episode of uh, Portlandia yeah. that, that, that yeah. worked. Okay, so when that episode aired, I was called by the weekly and they said, didn't you guys do, you know, didn't you do that? And I said, well, yeah, yeah, we, we, we did that. <laughs> we had. I think the two of you should know that Alan was described by his friends as carefree and fun to be around. That show, I know that Carrie Brownstein was raised in Seattle. I, I also know that in, in working in comedy clubs that, that these uh, uh, comedy premises uh, come up all the time. And when I saw them do it, I thought, well, they didn't, you know, they didn't rip us off. That's their, I mean, that's a logical premise that someone would get you know, growing up in this area. But I was asked by the weekly, and, and not, under, not knowing at the time, I didn't have any experience with you know, online stuff, I said, well, yes, we did, yeah, yeah, that we, we had done that, and it was met with, you know, like suddenly, you know, I looked at and all these comments, whoa, geez, look who, look who hasn't been on TV in a long time, and like, whoa, like, and it was all this, you know, <laughs> you know, go fuck yourself, <laughs> like that. And so I learned, that, that taught me a lesson, which Never was Never read the comments. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Coffee is the lifeblood of Seattleites. Like at the time that we put that out, you, you have to understand that there were, um, that coffee had become this thing that, uh, that, uh, the world was looking to Seattle for kind of guidance. I mean, this 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 new sort of thing, and so many people, uh, everybody in Seattle at that time knew someone who left the city and went uh, to some other city and got in on the ground floor of the coffee business. And, and I know I know uh, three three separate stories of people who made fortunes uh, uh, going to other cities and doing this thing that had started in Seattle. And, and when, we, when we look at it now, I don't know how you feel, but it seems so over, the coffee thing is, seems so overrepresented. But I think maybe part of that is that it's so ubiquitous that, that you're not really aware how the culture has changed. The coffee. Come on, move, move. Ready? All right. Come on, buddy. Come on. There you go. Drink it in. Come on. Yes, come on. Fight, come on. I ordered a, a triple grande. I right, don't try to talk. Don't try to talk. I think you've been drinking. Decaf. Oh my God. I thought it was interesting as we were watching this about the, the jokes that probably didn't, didn't go over real well and might not have been appropriate, actually. <laughs> uh, I remembered it was the, like, uh, checking, l watching the, the women uh, do their aerobics. In the meantime, go down the hall and check out the women's aerobics class. That was a little creepy. We were, yeah. And then there was the, uh, the biathlon. There was a stunning upset in the Capitol Hill biathlon today. So, can I buy you an espresso? No, thanks. <laughs> oh, and a bit of bad luck there, but now watch what happens next. Hey, uh, can I buy you an espresso? Sure. Ooh, nicely done. We that like, was not so bad. Oh, it was actually, that was okay. Yeah. That was all right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's still true. That's still true. Yeah. Yeah. What a move by Crispin. I wouldn't be surprised to see him get the gold. It could happen. The other one that I thought, uh, it, it didn't play hugely well when we originally did it, but was the art house theater. The ultimate Seattle cultural pursuit is seeing a film in a Seattle art house. Follow the procedures in these easy steps. First, tea and muffins and discussions. And I thought, you know, nobody is finding this terribly funny here because 
Have any of you ever experienced that Seattle? Oh, the, all the, the time. time? Okay. Oh, oh, ask, which one? Yeah. Did they just did they do tea and muffins like that much then? Oh yeah. That, oh, that, oh, yeah. That, I was yeah. like, I don't really. Yeah. 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 Oh Harvard. Oh, yeah. I never get tea and muffins for the beacon. The whole thing. Oh, yeah. Harvard the whole is Seattle. Seven cables. Yeah. So yeah. completely. But that's you know one of the things I really miss about Seattle was that that particular culture was the. The way we'd go out to the Harvard Exeter or the Guild 45th, and and there were all these films that you'd get in this city that uh, that you really wouldn't find in in hardly any other place.